Hey everyone, welcome to another brand new web series. This time it will be about Vue.js, one of the hottest JavaScript frameworks we have right now. So um, I have been asked to do Vue tutorials from quite some time by a lot of people. So we're going to do this web series, a little web series, where I would try to do some different stuff from what it already is available on YouTube. For example, there are a ton of tutorials which describe how to use Vue and all that stuff, but we're gonna take a different direction and do some actual real projects with it and see how to actually work with Vue and get in production with it. However, the prerequisite I would like from you guys to have is a good understanding of JavaScript, right? Because I'm not going to go over through very basics or even intermediate concepts of JavaScript, like maybe like arrow functions or lexical scoping of variables and when to use functions and when to use arrow, fat arrow functions and all that basic stuff. So make sure if you're starting this web series, you're well equipped with all that stuff, right? And compared to React, which is one of the most common competitor of Vue, you can say. Um, if you ask me if you want to go with React or Vue, I would recommend you maybe React. Now, there are a couple of reasons for that, because React is a tad bit more powerful than Vue, I believe, because I've used both. And maybe I'm just saying this because I have used React way more than Vue. Right, because I've used React in on the web as well and as a native React native as well. So I'm pretty much familiar and comfortable with it. But Vue is also good. The learning curve is not so difficult as compared to other frameworks, especially Angular. So it's not a bad idea to give it a try. So let's start with Vue. And before actually starting this web series, what I would like to do inform you guys is that I've been working on the website codedam.com so it is live but it's not complete so I'm just trying to build it real quickly and uh, taking feedback from the users as quick as possible so we are doing about that so what you can do right now to support the channel is you can right now I'm not accepting patreons or anything like that might be in future so right now what you can do to support the channel at least is just connect with me because i want you guys to know when i will be releasing the final version of the platform and the easiest way to connect with me is through instagram or twitter i don't really use facebook that much for um, code dam, but uh, you would be able to get answers from me if you send some messages there but uh, please connect with me on Instagram and Twitter and uh, you would be updated about the recent happenings of code dam as well as some progress on it and when the final release would be there you would be updated so um, you can see my Instagram handle and Twitter handle. So just go ahead and let's just connect there. And uh, that's basically what I'm asking right now for the support. But I'm not asking for any donations or Patreons and all that stuff. Because I'm not really looking into making a lot of money right now. Just want to provide some value and then shift my focus on the monetization part. But let's just get started with the framework first and as we go along we'll see how to actually learn this new javascript awesome framework so that's all for this video and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon like the video share it with your friends these are the four things i'm asking you to do right now so that's all for this one and i'll see you then goodbye